Right, this is uh, Bernoulli's problem, which gets us to the surface. Then once it's velocity, it'll be an energy problem. Um, so I guess it's energy all the way through, if you would. Um, so the pressure at the bottom, um, whatever, P1, um, and that's not going to have any gravitational, and we're not saying it's moving. So basically that's it. It's P1 equals, and then at the surface, this is obviously going to have atmospheric pressure, um, plus it has rho GH, uh, 10 meters of um, potential energy, plus 1 half rho V squared. And that V is the key. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to get V is equal to the square root of, of like 2 P1 minus 2 P atmospheric minus two, oops, uh, 2 rho GH all over the density of the water. All right, so two times the pressure, which is 4.04 .04 times 10 to the fifth minus atmospheric, which is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth minus rho, which is 1,000 uh, times 10 times 10 divided by 1,000. Thousand. Let me get a velocity of twenty point one meters per second. Now we just say this is Ke. This is Pe up here. Um, yeah, and then um, now I can say uh, one half mv squared is equal to mgh. That goes away. H is equal to V squared over 2G. Twenty point three meters.